I think he's waking up. Really? I thought he was going back to sleep. What do we do? Should we call Ava up here? Yeah, I'll go get her. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Where am I? Why am I tied up? Uh, cosplay? He's over here. Well, well, somebody's awake. We've only knocked you over the head, what, about a million times? Oh, Ava, you're here. Why am I tied up and who are they? Uh, <laughs> this has to be some sort of joke, right? <laughs> like, <sighs> oh boy. Please exit the room. Are you sure? We don't want to leave you up here defenseless. He's not a danger right now. Now leave. <laughs> I hired a bunch of idiots. Let me take these off you. And this bloody bow. What's going on? Ava, why are we here? I'll do the talking. What's the last thing you remember? Me and you at the adoption agency and I got it adopted and you didn't. Interesting. Apparently me hitting you over the head too many times has resulted to amnesia. Did you say something? Hmm? Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. Mason, there's something I have to tell you. What is it? How do I put it this way? Mason, I've been in love with you for the longest time in my life. And you never ever noticed or even realized me. I just want you to know that no matter what, I love you. And I've been a real fool not telling you back at the adoption agency before you left. Okay, um, can you please tell me where we are and why I'm here? Right, um, you're at my house in the basement and it's a long story. I got time. Long story short, you were injured and I fixed you up and cleaned you up and now you are here. Okay, why was I tied up? We were just <laughs> messing around. Okay, um. I should get home. I barely remember anything that happened. Thank you for helping me, Ava. Mason, you can't go home just yet. Why not? Because your parents are the ones that hurt you. Wow. Now's my chance. But we can put an end to it. How so? If you go back home, you'll more than likely have to act in self-defense. But all the bad people will be out of the world. What do you mean self-defense? You want me to kill my adoptive parents? Hopefully it doesn't result to that, but it might. I'm in. <laughs> Where could she be? Who oh, think dog? Eat that. Yeah. What happened? I don't know if you saw the news, but a mass shooting broke out at the high school. I saw the news, which is why. When it turned 11 o'clock, I got worried. Do I need to take her to the hospital? That's not her blood, it's somebody else's. She tried saving someone, but got their blood on her fur. She's fine, she's just exhausted and needs to rest. I'd appreciate if we took her to her room. Right, follow me this way. Go ahead, lay her on the bed. You girls are sure she's not injured. I don't have to take her to the hospital, right? We're certain, Mr. Haynes. Well, thank you girls so much for bringing her home. I really do appreciate it. I'll escort you all to the door. Actually, sir, we'd like to stay here for the night. Girls, as much as I don't mind, I'm pretty sure as traumatic of a night this is, your parents are super worried about you just like I am for Ellie. I know, but she's our best friend. We just want to make sure she's okay. And plus, our parents said it's okay. Our parents know we're safe. 
and they don't mind us spending the night here. Then I guess it's alright. I'll go get your girl some beds to sleep on. Is he gone? Coast is clear. Ugh, finally. Are you sure it's okay to hide these kind of things from your father? Don't you understand, Emma? We have to find them. Her dog knows what Ava is going to do to him. Oh yeah, she's going to seduce him. You're very observational, Lexi. Sally. No, I mean, if she shot that random girl, who knows what she's gonna do to Mason? Are we really sure she doesn't know that girl? I really don't know who that girl is. Her name is Neva. She's really pretty. Lexi, do you know her? When I was helping her, her friends were shouting her name, so... Her name's Neva, or Neva! Why is this a constellation between her and Ava? I've actually never met her before, anything. Haven't heard anything. She doesn't go to any parties. I would have seen her. I guess he's quiet and shy. Like you. Let's just focus on what we know. Mason is gone. Ava more than likely kidnapped him. And now we need to find him. Yeah, but how are we gonna find him? Wherever Ava is, he'll be. There's only one person that knows where Ava could be. Who would that be exactly? Ellie, I think your dad's coming back. Get in the bed. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, girls, I brought the pills and blankets. I'll set them up over here. Thank you so much, Mr. Haynes. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. Anytime, girls. Your beds are set, so I hope you girls have a good night and let me know if Ellie ever wakes up. Good night, girls. Good night. Good night. I love my father, but sometimes he can be such a pain. So tell me, who knows where Ava might be? Well, none of us are gonna like this, but Angel. I mean, we already know Angel was planning a plot to kill me already, and her and Ava were buddy buddy. I'm gonna take this stupid bow off. It's very uncomfortable. Eh. Yeah, me too. Hey, I thought they looked pretty. So does that blood on your fur. Oh yeah, right. I'm gonna go clean up. So if Angel's the one that's gonna know where Ava is, how do we find Angel? One of the teachers put her in jail, so We'll check there first. She shouldn't have been in jail for too long, so she might be in custody. Great, so we'll catch her before she gets locked up. Some of the blood stained my fur, but whatever. Our first stop is the jail. Angel tells us where Ava is, then we go to Ava, and then bada beam, bada boom, we get Mason back. You make it sound like it's gonna be easy when it most definitely will not be. It won't be easy with just the three of us, which is why we call up Parker, Leo, Sky, Ash, everybody. Wait, do you mean right now? Now? It's almost midnight, Ellie. So, Mason is out there in Ava's paws. Who knows? He might already be dead or something. We need to help him, like how he helped us. Look, I'll call Leo up and he'll tell Parker. Emma, you can call your boyfriend Ash, and Lexi can call Skye. I haven't talked to Skye in a while, especially since our breakup. Your what? Um, nothing. Uh, my cookies are burning. Just make sure to call him. Okay. I'll go call Ash and ask what the hell that was about, too. Okay, and I'll go call Leo and Parker. Okay, well, go on upstairs, and the boys will direct you to my vehicle, and we'll get going. Boys? What was Mason doing walking out of here? Was that supposed to happen? Yes, because I have a change of plans change of plans it seems like mason has amnesia the last place he remembers is me at the adoption agency with him and him being adopted i didn't think we hit that hard <laughs> wow i feel powerful <sighs> whatever look i want you all to direct him to my vehicle and we're gonna take a little pit stop pit stop where i told him i'd take him home to his adoptive parents but instead we're gonna be taking a little trip to miss little ellie's house why? Because some parent has to die. And Ellie's dad is the perfect candidate. <laughs> Let's get going. Alright, I called Leo and he said him and Parker are on their way. Any luck with Ash or Sky? Ash is coming, but but Sky says he's feeling a little 
ill. What do you mean? Meaning we think he's too scared to confront his ex-girlfriend, Ava. That still surprises me. I can't believe Ava would manipulate him like that. Who hasn't she manipulated, honestly? Leo said that him and Parker will come pick us up. This is so my dad cannot hear my vehicle or your guys' vehicles. We only took my vehicle today, actually. Still, if my dad doesn't hear any single vehicle out in front, he won't be worried. That must be them. So, is there a back door or are we gonna have to go out the front door? We ain't going out the front door, it'll cause too much noise. Back door is just locked. So we're gonna have to go out the window. Can't we just unlock the back door? Even if I unlock the back door, the back door is also next to my brother's room and they will cry or get up and be confused and wake my father up. Okay, so how are we gonna get out? Through the window. I'm sorry, what? Oh, yay, I love an adventure. Why are we going through the window? It's the only way out. Come on. Come on. <sighs> she needed to learn the truth sometime. Is that window open? <gasps> Sorry, Mr. Haynes. No, please. I thought you said you were just gonna talk to him. What the hell, Ava? You know it had to be done. You don't know the awful things that happened, that he did to me. Raising a daughter like Ellie Haynes, hell will backfire on you. It backfires on all of us. <sighs> now, I'll be outside waiting in the car. I'll clean this up. I ain't doing that. And why not? I thought you were on my side. Mason, what happened? Ava, you're my best friend. And my girlfriend, but... Why? I told you, it's revenge. Had to be done. But why do I have to clean it up? Why am I getting dragged in all of this? I'm not getting any paw prints on this man. That's too cruel. You have five minutes to clean this up. Jackson, Paxson, look away, please. An accident happened, okay? Just look away. It's okay. You're friends with Sissy. Yeah, it's okay. We trust you. Do you do you know how to work a telephone? And do you know where one is? Yeah, we have one downstairs. Okay. Um. Go to the telephone and put in nine one one. Okay. And who, 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 what do we say? Say my daddy is hurt. And Ava Maxwell did it. Ava Maxwell. Daddy's hurt? And we need somebody to help daddy. I was never here. Okay. Okay. What is the Paxton? Where is Sissy? She's with your mom. Mommy. Oh. 